Welcome from the home of the New York Mets, City Field in Queens, Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Texas Rangers going up against the New York Mets. Along with Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. Siggy here at City Field, and of course, known as a pitcher's park, but this ballpark's gotten a little smaller over the years as they've changed the dimensions. It's a different ballpark. It plays differently, and these hitters are really feeding off of it. You give the pitcher a nice little lead, and we see those guys getting comfortable and leading the team to victory. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set to go. Now the starting pitcher in this one, Kodai Senga. What's the word on him? Well, this is a guy that usually turns in a very good outing. People like playing behind him. Not Everyone second. seems to be loose, and the shot. offense tends Boy, to get going. So, Seager. you know, you look at an opposing lineup. When they see him out there in the mound, they know that he's going to compete. They don't want to let him settle in. They want to try to knock him out, get into that bullpen before he gets real comfortable. And that one hammered. This one's got a chance. And that ball is out of here. Corey Seager leaves the yard. And they add a run. It's 2-0. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ball. Back here at City Field, all set for the start of the inning. Now it's Corey Seager. This guy makes great contact, one of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate, and there's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone. Oh, now this is blasted way back there on its way. Gone. Corey Seager goes deep. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. It's 3-0. When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. One gone runner at first, and the batter will be the shortstop, Corey Seager. Coming off an absolute bomb in his last at bat. Liner snagged it first. Up next for the Rangers, the first baseman, Nathaniel. Brett Beatty now up now for the Mets. One for one Brett. with a single so far. Lindor leads off first with two down to the inning. Come on, guys. Up the middle, Seeger. They take the force it, out, out, third out. Mets leave one, still eight, nothing. And here's Corey Seager to hit. Here we go, one time, right now, let's go. In the air, right field. And Seeger is set down. Runner tags for home. That's a sacrifice fly as he comes across. And they now lead by nine. Nathaniel Lowe. Now back. So now it's Corey Seeger. And the way he's going in this one, we've been waiting for his spot to come around again. All right, listen, everyone, stop what you're doing right now. This guy's got two home runs already. Now he's going for number three. All right, let's set up something you like right here. Ripped on a line. And in one hops the wall. Coming around third is Simeon. Mauricio with a relay throw, and he's in there as three runs come in. 
Went up there now looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. Part of the order coming through now and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Runner leads away at second. Ground ball up the middle. Sneaks through. Base hit. Seeger around third. He will score. And the lead continues to grow. Back-to-back -back base hits. Good extension on that swing. Took the pitch on the outside part of the plate and drove it up the middle. He let it travel just enough. One out. Base is empty. Next to hit, Corey Seeger. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. That's a double, and he's got a four-hit day. Everything came together for him. To me, it's just a really controlled, balanced swing. He wasn't trying to do too much with it. Just stayed disciplined, got the barrel to the ball, and put it in play. Runner at second here, one gone. That's to third. Beatty to first. And yeah, there's two away. Up next for the Rangers, the designated hitter, Mitch Garver. Mitch Garver up to hit here. Hey, like you can right there. Square it up. He goes down looking. A double in the inning, but they leave him stranded. Last half of the eighth coming up. Texas out in front, 17 to 1. Rafael Ortega stands in. The center fielder, Rafael Ortega. That one to first. There's one. Throw to first, but he beat it. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Well, I don't know what they did in the cage today or on the field for batting practice, but when you win by double digits, something is clicking. That batting coach feels pretty good about himself right now, but more so the players. They can't wait for the next one. Come back out, score, and get another W. So this one got a little out of hand. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.